Welcome to Community Conversations. I'm your host, Hallie Ammons. As the Assistant Director of Government and Community Relations at Villanova University, I am delighted to bring you the extraordinary people making an impact on our campus community and beyond. Today, I will be speaking with uh, the Deputy Chief of Police, Deborah Patch, and Officer Amy Lenahan from Villanova University's Department of Public Safety. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank, Thank you for having us. We, uh, Villanova recently welcomed its newest officer to the force, a Labrador Golden Retriever mix named Taffy, who is here with us <laughs> as well, sure is. to serve as the university's first community canine. Uh, she's already a Villanova celebrity, and we're honored to have her today on the show. This is a very exciting day. She looks excited. <laughs> she, you can tell. She's very excited. Um, I also want to point out that May is National uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. And uh, beyond being extremely cute, Taffy is an important member of the Villanova family uh, and contributes significantly to the health and well-being of our campus community, which I'm so excited to learn more about uh, during the show. So welcome again. Um, and if you could start us off, Deb and Officer, Officer Lanahan, uh, both by introducing yourselves, your sure. roles at the university, um, and how long you've been there, and your work with Taffy. Sure. So I've been at the university. I'm in my 27th year. Uh, so I oversee, I'm the deputy chief, so I oversee, I uh, used to see oversee patrol, I also oversee investigations, uh, community, all the community engagement and investigations uh, for mm -hmm. our department. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm Amy Lenahan. Uh, I started working at Villanova about five years ago and I work as a patrol officer. Um, I've been in Chief's ear about getting a canine unit for five years, it took, but I finally did it. So now hopefully I'm going into the whole canine unit type thing for the community policing and all that. So that's Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's it. Well, we're all really happy that she's here. Thank so you. thank you for all of your hard work we over the too. years. <laughs> that's really, really great. So following up on that, um, what is a what is a community canine? What is that program like? How does this work at Villanova? Um, what did it take to apply all of those things? I'll throw okay. it to you guys. Well, we, Amy and I obviously had a lot of conversations about uh, this bringing this type of dog to our department and creating a unit within our department where it would be multifaceted. Uh, one, we are very focused on officer wellness. Mm -hmm. So bringing Taffy to the department um, already has dramatically made a difference uh, with our officers on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but certainly, probably 85% uh, of our calls are related to students in distress mm -hmm. or maybe experiencing mental health issues. Uh, being away from home, you know, sometimes in their freshman year, the different experiences that they have during their first year, uh, we come encounter encounter students that are having difficulties, and we feel that Taffy would be able to bring a difference mm -hmm. to students as well as the faculty and staff on campus. Um, when we're doing interviews with students uh, who may have experienced a distressing or trauma event. Uh, Taffy certainly could be utilized uh, to assist us with doing those types mm -hmm. of interviews. Uh, and she already has been helping us. Oh, wow. uh, so that we're, we're seeing the true benefit of that. Uh, and in addition, you know, our department is always looking for new ways to interact with the campus community and break down barriers. And so, you know, having a canine like Taffy who could help break down some of those barriers along with having an officer that we've selected um, to, to be the main handler with the dog um, can help bridge a lot of the community relations uh, that we have with our campus community. Uh, and then, so Amy and I had this conversation about the unit. Um, I had already done a lot of research mm -hmm. uh, on, on the canine programs that have been done at other universities and as well as regular police departments outside of university settings. And so Amy and I, I approached the, the chief about it and he said, yeah, absolutely, go ahead and do the research for it. So we did. And that led to the application process. And so there were a couple of organizations that we were looking to do that with. Uh, Amy uh, primarily did the application. So I'll let her talk about the application and the organization that we were able to get Taffy from and Great. what we're currently doing. Yeah, so Great. the organization is called Pause with a Cause and it's based out of Michigan and they've been around for a very long time, like 45 to 50 years. Wow. So yeah, they, they've been through the gambit of uh, service dogs. So what they specialize in is um, 
handicapped individuals, people in wheelchairs, deaf, hearing or hearing impaired, or blind individuals. So um, usually what happens is they have a litter of puppies. Uh, and within that litter, they kind of run some tests to see how well they would do as a service dog mm -hmm. or if they're going to get placed into a different category, which is called the Purple Program. And essentially, the Purple Program is a facility type therapy dog, mm -hmm. um, which is what Taffy got placed into. And we always make a, a big joke about it because all of her siblings are service dogs right now. Mm -hmm. She's the only one that got placed into the Purple Program because she kept eating things off the ground. <laughs> um, so individuals that uh, weren't able bodied to be able to like, you know, get things out of her mouth, which is what I do all day. Um, mm -hmm. She had to get placed into the therapy dog program. And I think she's very good fit for the Villanova community because uh, the college kids being as old as they are, they love her. And I feel like um, she just has brought a facelift to, you know, the community. Every time I go out and about, they just, everybody smiles and they're very excited. But um, Pause With a Cause has been really, really great. And we get a, uh, uh, she's been trained for a year and a half um, with that organization before we even got her over in Michigan because we took a road trip to even go get her. Uh, it was 10 hours there and 10 hours back. <laughs> so we took quite the road trip. Um, but they had her for a year and a half and they train her and kind of give her her basic commands, um, pretty much like sitting as she is. Uh, they teach them sometimes like, um, you know, standing in the doorway, like so they don't leave and, and kind of your basic therapy dog things. Uh, once we get her, we have a, pro a professional trainer for 16 weeks. Uh, so once a week for 16 weeks, somebody comes here who's a professional dog trainer and basically trains me as a handler um, with her. So I kind of become a dog trainer as well. So it's more training me than the dog. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's pretty much what I've been doing since we got back in March wow. with Paws. Yeah, that's really extensive. It's really yeah. amazing. And yeah. you know, even though she didn't wasn't quite qualified to be the full service dog, it doesn't diminish her the importance mm -hmm. of her specialties, exactly. which are the social, emotional. You know, that's yes, that's exactly. a hugely important role. Yes. So it's just amazing that you you're yeah. both taking this on. And, and so you know, having the the swearing in ceremony. Uh, which was public on campus, uh, really brought a lot of the community members out to see that special ceremony. And it was very encouraging, I think, for myself and, mm -hmm. and Amy um, to see that there was so much support for her already on campus. And since that time, uh, we have we have received many, 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 many requests uh, for various things. You know, a staff member was retiring and they wanted to do something mm -hmm. special for her, so we brought the dog over. Mm -hmm. Student events, RAs are, you know, having events with their communities, and asking us to bring taffy, and then sometimes our ice cream truck, which we also make available to them. So it's becoming a like a partnership now between the ice cream truck and and taffy, which is which is perfectly fine. We just got a request this morning. Uh, to be at the ROTC commissioning mm -hmm. ceremony, the midshipman requested to be able to have a photo done uh, with Taffy. So there's been a variety of things. We, Amy and I did a self-defense class uh, a couple weeks ago with the women's soccer team, mm -hmm. and uh, we brought Taffy with us. So it sounds like, based on your, what you've described, that Taffy has really jumped right in uh, to all of her responsibilities at Villanova. Um, you had mentioned that she is going to be attending uh, the ROTC uh, commissioning at Villanova, which I'm sure is very exciting. And she's done a lot of work already with our faculty, students, and staff. Uh, will she be on hand for undergraduate or graduate commencement this weekend? which is May 19th for folks who are maybe not watching it live. <laughs> yes, yes, she will be available for commencement. We'll I think the, I think the seniors uh, that was one of the reasons why we wanted to uh, bring her out, even though it was like towards the end of the semester, mm -hmm. was so that the seniors had a chance to enjoy her before they were they were leaving Villanova. Yeah. Um, but obviously during commencement day is a big deal. They're very excited. Yes. <laughs> oh, I am sure. And I, you know, I imagine at the beginning of the academic year, Taffy will be around for the first year students moving in and to welcome everybody back. She will be, a, I'm sure, a very welcome sight for everyone coming back to campus. Um, so uh, Officer Lanahan, you are, uh, you are her primary handler. Uh, where does Taffy live when she's not at work? Where, where is she? How does that work? So she comes home with me every day. She's by my side 24 seven. Me and this girl are definitely partners. Um, she's my little spoon at nighttime. So yeah, when we came home, the introduction was probably the like my the scariest part. I was mm -hmm. like, I, this is either gonna go really good or really <laughs> bad. Um, luckily it went well. Uh, and it's like she's always been there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so it's been really good. Um, being her handler has definitely 
uh, I feel like everything's lit up to this moment mm -hmm. to be this in this job because it's so rewarding not to just have a dog by your side but like to work with the community and in, in, in the sense that I am now um, so it's been really awesome to do that because we basically walk around and make people smile all day so that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, we could tell. I mean, even yeah. just <laughs> my own personal uh, experience on campus, you can just tell that she's already made such a positive mm -hmm. impact. Um, everyone just loves to see her, wants to okay. have her around. Um, before we wrap up, what do you see as the future of this program? Where do you uh, want to take this? You know, how, what does this look like going forward at Villanova? Well, my hope would be that it would expand, you know, that we would have maybe some other dogs, mm -hmm. uh, other canines that can do the same type of work. Mm -hmm. And I think even in this area, it would be nice to see other agencies, mm -hmm. you know, I think moving in this direction uh, because it does have such a positive mm -hmm. impact um, in all the work that we're doing. Yeah. So. That's that's great. I mean, I, for one, would be on board with more yes. canines <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> that would be great. Um, but yeah, any, if any, any final words before we wrap it up and say thank you for the day? But I just want to say thank you for having us and thank you for helping us promote this even more. And I hope that um, in the in the time to come that it will just bridge the gap between you know, public safety and the community that much more because that's really what we're here to do. And we want to make sure that everybody feels safe um, and that they can come to us because we're here to help. I know a dog is a simple thing, but I think it's something that everybody really loves and they will come and hopefully talk to us more often. We can really get to know each other. That's I that is fantastic. Thank you so so much. I'm oh, you're so welcome. delighted to have you both. Thank and you. well all three of you actually and have a taffy as well. Um, hope you'll come back maybe with, with more yeah. uh, <laughs> puppies in the future. Thank you. Uh, wanna thank once more uh, our Deputy Chief of Police Deborah Patch and Officer Amy Lenahan from our Department of Public Safety at Villanova University for their time today. For more information on all of the great things happening at Villanova and for ways to get involved please visit www.villanova.edu slash neighbors.